What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing quick video. And another Ego rumor mill has come into fruition. It's a now official. Danny Swift Garcia will be facing Pauli Malignaggi. Now, I talked to you guys about this when it was still in the rumor stages. And check that video out if you want to hear more. My thoughts are pretty much the same. Just to give you guys some clarification, August 1st, it's on ESPN. It's part of PBC courtesy of um i think lou DeBella, his promotional company is handling this particular fight it's happening at the barclays in new york and it will be at the 147 pound division danny garcia is moving up now on the channel i also talked about how danny garcia was basically forced to relinquish his belt at 140 where he was the lineal middleweight champion and the wbc it was it was a do or die situation he either had to fight victor post style or relinquish the belt. He couldn't fight Pauli Malignaggi. So he made his choice, got rid of the belt, and it looks like he's moving up to welterweight, which is interesting because the welterweight is stacked. And Danny Garcia has had some suspect performances. Two of his last three performances are highly controversial, and that's with Peterson and Mauricio Herrera. Now, as far as the fight Pauli Malignaggi, I'm going to tell you guys, like I said in the initial video, a lot of people carry over the rage from Danny Garcia. They just hate him or don't like him or the controversial decisions and i get that because those were controversial fights with peterson also herrera but he's not the judge you could blame it on whoever you want to blame it on and this is still i would say more of a challenging style than people are giving it credit for now if i had a choice and i laid out all the fighters at welterweight danny garcia fighting paulie malignaggi would not be in my first 10 picks or five picks or whatever right but it's not as bad of a fight as some people are making it out to be, especially since it's not at a catch weight and that kind of thing. You have to look at the variables. And I always tell people this. In boxing, look at the perspective. Yes, Pauli Malignaggi has been stopped before by Amir Khan, Ricky Hatton. He got stopped most recently last year. I think it was April versus Sean Porter. However, Sean Porter, what he did, he's a known tank at welterweight. You know what I'm saying? He's a known power guy, and Pauli Malignaggi is not necessarily known for power, right? So styles make fights. Porter is an aggressive guy. He had the momentum. He had just evinced the Julio Diaz draw, and he he steamrolled Pauli Malignaggi. However, that doesn't mean Danny Garcia, That's a, those are different variables. Danny Garcia, that doesn't mean he can move up to a new division, carry the same power, and steamroll um, Pauli Malignaggi like Sean Porter did because Danny Garcia if you know anything about boxing his style is nothing like Sean Porter Sean Porter is kind of like a, a rugged former football player come forward guy and he'll pressure you Danny Garcia is more of a counter puncher so these are different fights and then the biggest thing is Danny Garcia has struggled with much of what Pauli Malignaggi does Malignaggi has an underrated very good jab when he uses it and he keeps that pumping it out he has a good jab Herrera exposed, as far as I'm concerned, Danny Garcia with that same type of jab. And I think Pauli Malignaggi, just off of the eye test, I think Malignaggi's measurements would probably be superior to Herrera. Herrera looks like a pretty short guy in a smaller division. You know what I'm saying? So it's really not as bad of a fight as people have been saying. Because for the most part, if you look at Danny Garcia, you look at the guys who are aggressive with him. Like even Amir Khan, he was boxing well, but he got a little bit too aggressive trying to stop him or whatever. He was trying to make a statement, and then he got caught. That's what Danny Garcia does well. Eric Morales in the rematch got caught. You look at um, Matisse, kind of a, a boxer puncher, but still pretty aggressive. You know what I mean? Pauli Malignaggi is more or less a pure boxer, and that's what's troubled Danny Garcia. So I'm not making a case. I, this is this fight is free. Watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. But I am saying styles make fights, and this is not a gimme fight based on what Sean Porter does. So much in boxing, I see these casual fans, and they give other people credit. Oh, Garcia is going to destroy Malignaggi. Why? Because Amir Khan did or because Sean Porter ran through him? It doesn't work like that. You still have to, styles make fights and you still have to earn your own stripes. Fact is, Danny Garcia is moving to a new division. He shouldn't be that confident because most people believe he lost to Peterson and or Herrera or both. You know what I'm saying? So it's different timing. Sean Porter at the time he fought Pauli, Pauli Malignaggi, he was a champion and that was a title defense. Different circumstances, 
Danny Garcia just had to relinquish. So um, not a terrible fight, not necessarily a fight that I was uh, requesting, but it's, it's for free TV, it's not as bad as some people are making it sound. Some people are saying it's a cherry pick and whatever. But, I mean, honestly, Danny Garcia needs to do something to get back on track because it's not looking good. So if he were to go up and just fight Keith Thurman and Kell Brook, then his career might be over if he don't beat them. And that's just as clean and um, clear as I could put it. You know what I mean? As far as the boxing business, you know what I mean? This is a good move from his PR team because first fight in a new division, you know what I mean? You don't want to, like, look at look at Brandon Reels, for example, and then I'm done. Brandon Reels, first fight at welterweight, he fought Pacquiao. Good opportunity, but you've seen what happened. You know what I'm saying? And Reels was coming off of a loss. Garcia was coming off a win, but most people thought it was a loss versus Peterson, right? So now you look at Brandon Reels and look at what people are saying. Like, oh, he's he's overrated and Pacquiao embarrassed him. He started crying after. It's, this is a business, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm going to be as fair as possible. So Brandon Rios, he jumped at the opportunity to fight Pacquiao, got schooled, and, you know what I mean, didn't acclimate himself to the division, and it is what it is. And then people slander him for that. So I think for a career, not for a fan's sake, but for a career's sake, Danny Garcia needs this. I would, you know what I mean, he needs to take a lighter touch and not one of the killers at welterweight because he could be in the same situation as Brandon Rios, a guy who is supposed to be that dude and then now more recently people don't know where to rate him in the division you know what i mean at welterweight so i mean from a business perspective it makes sense to to take a softer touch and, and that's just real as possible let me know what you guys think make sure you like my video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off